Hello, this is a continuation of our uh, SST, ESR2, or SR4, CLX, RLL uh, extended addressing. Uh, we did the add-on uh, instruction for the generic profile uh, just to reach that uh, extended data. Uh, now we're going to do our, our other add-on instruction where uh, we're still reading the extended data and we're also dynamically controlling uh, the cyclic functions. Uh, so if you look back in our configuration, we have the uh, two cyclic functions, uh, a read and a write uh, uh, cyclic function. And if we go up to tools, we can open up the cyclic function display tool. And it'll take a minute to, uh, uh, to look at all the various uh, cyclic functions and read them in. Uh, and what that'll do is show us the status. And we see that uh, everything's okay and it's uh, reading and writing fine. Uh, so now if we go back to uh, Logix 5000, uh, we're going to start with a new project here, add our module. Uh, we are using the generic for this one. Select our int with status, we're in slot 3, and then fill in the values here. Say okay. Now this time uh, we're going to import a slightly different add-on instruction. Uh, this is the paging and cyclic function AOI. And again, uh, we're in slot three, so we don't have to change anything. We'll say okay. run and now you see that uh, we actually have two add-on instructions here uh, so we have the same one as before the paging AOI so that's identical to what it was before uh, but now we have a dynamic sec uh, cyclic function AOI and this is what we're going to use uh, to start and stop our, our cyclic functions uh, so what we need to do is go into our um, program tags or sorry our, our controller tags and first thing we have to do is again uh, under CLX2000, under the configuration, uh, is matched the configuration that we set up, which was 1000 and length 1000 and offset 2000, length 1000 and offset 3000. 